Earlier, you learned that there are three kinds of fields, including predefined fields, which are placeholders for dates, times, or page numbers that fill in automatically based on information found on the computer or in the transcript, user-defined fields, which are placeholders for items like parties in a caption, witness names, case numbers, etc., and field list group fields, which are used for filling in name and contact information in appearances. In this lesson, you'll learn how to insert field list group fields in an include file. I'll begin by opening the file we worked on during the include files lesson about tables. The last task we performed in that lesson was to create tables to hold the appearances. I'll click inside the table cell for the first appearance to position the cursor where I want to insert these fields. The next step is very similar to inserting any other type of field. I'll click Edit. Insert Field. Field list groups appear at the beginning of the Insert Field dialog box. You can see the first group here with fields for the attorney's name, the firm's name, address, phone, and other contact information, all ending with the number 1. If I scroll down, you can see the second group, and then a third, fourth, and fifth. If I have more than five appearances, I can click Add Next Field List Group to add a sixth group, a seventh, an eighth, as many groups as I need, one group for each appearance. I'm going to scroll back up to the first group so that I can insert the fields for my first appearance. Now, this is the way that I've been requested to provide my appearance information, with the firm name on one line, followed by the text Attorneys at Law on another line, followed by the address on the next one or two lines, then the city, state, zip, the phone number, and then on the last line, the word by followed by a colon, two spaces, and the name of the attorney from that firm. So, on the first line, I need a placeholder for the firm name in the first appearance. As you can probably guess, Firm 1 is the correct field. So, I'll click Firm 1, and then click Insert. Now, on the next line, I need some text. So, I'll click in the table after the Firm 1 field, and press Enter to move the cursor to the next line. And now, I'll type Attorneys at law, and then press Enter to move to the next line. Now, I need the firm's address and then the phone number. All of the fields I need for the next several lines are listed together here, so I might as well insert them all at once. I'll click the one I need on the next line, Address A1, and then I'm going to hold down the Shift button and click the last field in this group that I need, Phone Number 1. And now, I'll click Insert. Of course, this isn't formatted exactly the way I need it, so I'm going to have to adjust it a little. First, I'll click to position the cursor right before the Address B1 field, and press Enter to bring Address B1 down to a new line. Now, I'll press my right arrow to move over to City 1, and press Enter to bring it down to the next line. There needs to be a comma after City, so I'll press my right arrow, and then press comma, and I need two spaces in between the state and the zip code, so I'll press my right arrow, and then press the space bar to add that space. And just to make sure that my phone number always starts on a new line, I'll hit my right arrow one more time, and press Enter to insert a continuation paragraph symbol after zip1 and before phone number 1. Okay, now I'll press N to move to the end of the phone number line, and press Enter to create a new line for my attorney's name. I'll type BY in all caps, and add a colon and two spaces, and now I'll insert my Attorney 1 field. Again, to insert a field, I'll just click it, and then click Insert. Fantastic! I've inserted all of the field list group fields I need for the first appearance. Okay. I'm going to close the Insert Field dialog box, and then let's review those steps to insert the field list group fields and adjust the formatting. Step 1 is to position the cursor where the fields need to be inserted. I want to insert the fields for my second appearance in the table under For the Defendant, so I'll click inside that table. Next, I'll open the Insert Field dialog by clicking Edit, Insert, Field. 
Then, I'll select the field or fields I need to insert. I'll start by inserting the Firm 2 field. Then I'll position the cursor and press Enter to create a new line. I need some text here, so I'll type it. I'll insert the additional fields I need and then I'll adjust the formatting by moving the fields to their own lines as needed and adding any punctuation or spacing. I can continue to add any additional text or fields as needed. And that's all there is to it. If and when I need to add more appearances either to my include file or within an individual job, all I would do is insert another table and then insert another set of field list group fields using the exact same steps as I learned in this lesson and in the lesson on tables. Now would be a great time to practice inserting field list group fields. Go into the training user and follow the directions for exercise 5 in the include files practice document. Then, proceed with the next lesson in order.